Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us on your weekend report. If you've just tuned in, well, good morning. I'm Mposa Tole. This is the part of the segment where we shine the spotlight on artists of all kinds and the work they continue to do this Saturday. We're shining a spotlight on Mam Dr. Trinam Shope, who won the Lifetime Achievement Prize at this year's South African Film and Television Awards. She joins us now to discuss her illustrious career and her most memorable moments. Mam Trinam Shope, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. What a phenomenal achievement. How does it feel? Uh, very good morning to you and the viewers. It feels awesome, really, really. And I'm humbled, honestly. You don't think that uh, people are watching when you are doing your work, especially if you are living this fast-forward life I'm living. Now, you've entertained children for, for decades on end. And you, you have a project called Nozi uh, Nwadi. Uh, and that marked two decades. What does that yes. mean for you? No, Zinua, the mother of books, started in um, early 2001. And uh, to be doing it for two years, we thought, wow, we've achieved so much. And then three years, and it was like a never-ending story of lack of books in schools, um, rural villages, in, in, in townships, all nine provinces of South Africa we've zigzagged. And uh, to think that we were celebrating 20 years, every time I say it, I feel like, oh, am I making it up? one of the stories but it's not mm -hmm. we have done it and uh, it, it means a lot the reality is that there's still more to be done and i not only want to thank the people that have been on the journey with us at Trinamasiko on the nozimua d mother of books literacy campaign but i also want to celebrate other uh, fellow travelers who who are doing similar work promoting literacy in in our country because it's not the kind of thing that can be done by one organization now there are different organizations in Limpopo, in the Western Cape, in East London. I see Puku in Pretoria. They are doing fabulous work. And so for me, it's a shout out to many people who understand that uh, promoting literacy in South Africa is to be done by many of us. We must attack it from all fronts and promote mm -hmm. literacy and the love of African languages. Please, I preach that gospel all the time. The love of African languages and promoting literacy uh, was something that uh, really was important, especially as we observed Africa Month on the 25th of May. And uh, part of your focus, of course, is also narrating stories to children uh, about Africa and teaching them valuable life lessons. As we focus on Africa Month, what for you stood out? I mean, you mentioned languages as, as one aspect, but uh, what stands out and how best can it be articulated to continue to grow and instill that sense of pride when it comes to language and African languages? Thank you so much. Um, for, for us to say we're celebrating Africa Month and Africa Day, it is something that is very important for us to understand it, that it should not be about Africa Day and Africa Month. We should be Africans every day of our lives. And uh, when we are living that uh, legacy, we should um, make sure we understand that children watch more than they listen. They are aware of the way we live, the way we are being African in the way we, we carry ourselves, the way we espouse the values that were passed on from uh, generation to generation. Our parents, they are no longer with us, but they expect us to carry those values uh, forward. Um, I, I also want to talk about the respect. Self-respect and mutual respect is very important. And it's not even a thing that is uh, African. It is something that is universal. If we do that, I remember my father saying, if you respect yourself, and respect people you come into contact with, you'll be all right in the world. Mm -hmm. It was like a prophecy. Who would have known that the last born of Babu Mkrope was going to zigzag the world? I've been to so many continents, so many countries, bearing the torch, flying the flag of South Africa, and um, being a cultural ambassador. So we must understand that young people are watching, and they are not only following in our footsteps, they are charting new paths that some of us haven't even thought about. And I celebrate every time I see young people succeed. As a writer, my works have um, uh, touched many lives, have been translated in different languages, Portuguese, Japanese, Italian, French, German, all of that, Swahili. 
I also look at what does my work say? Because I write about things that happen in my country, in my life, but they are universal topics and they speak to people, including a play like Have You Seen Zandile, including one of my most translated poems, Sometimes When It Rains. And um, when we are saying we celebrate Africa Month, it, it has been amazing for, for, for us to, to, to receive copies, hard copies of a book I put together under lockdown. Hey, I was editing a book about storytellers who are doing this kind of work in South Africa today. And then we've got a book, it's called Our Storytelling Tree. And we've got 38 storytellers in this book. And we've got their photographs, their profiles and information. We've got um, a, a whole page dedicated to our chant we're chanting the bridges of those who came before us. Yes, Babura Shagara Titanga, O Merinondo Lane, O Mamu Violet Dube, you see, O Mamu Loretta Nobo. These are people who came before us. Om Kabaika Jama, we're talking about your Princess Magogo. They came before us, and so we must honor those. Noni Jababu, Om Miriam Kadi, Sibabonge, O Babu, Eskiam Pahele, AC Jordan, there's my heavyweight. When we think about all of those people, we must also understand that we are standing on shoulders of giants, and people think we are legends today, but there are legends coming after us, and that okay. makes my heart do somersault. That, that is so heartwarming to hear. I mean, you not only bagged a Lifetime Achievement Award, Mamkina Lope, but uh, you also launched an audio uh, storytelling uh, uh, platform during lo lockdown. And uh, yes. that, of course, uh, was something that I imagine to be close to your heart because the, I understand that the theme was uh, focused on African stories and, and continuing to share the knowledge. Absolutely. I, I was so happy to use these uh, platforms on Zoom and um, putting stories on, on different platforms in different uh, um, settings, partnering with other sister organizations. And I did um, uh, 10 uh, stories uh, with Mancosa. I did another uh, uh, string of storytelling and, um, and interpreting astronomy and science in African forms. And people were calling from New Zealand, from New York, from Canada, from Hong Kong. It was so interesting. People calling from Mali, from Egypt, and we were so happy to work with uh, SciFest telling stories, because stories are not just for children, mm -hmm. stories are for everybody, and stories are all around us. That is what I keep preaching, and people think, I meet people at the airport, how oh, long can you still doing your thing? No, that, oh, at kindergarten. The thing, I'm just telling stories in nursery schools. I'm telling stories in nursery schools and primary universities all over. I'm, I'm, I do storytelling as a motivational speaking tool in businesses. I get hired by big businesses to do that kind of work. And that is why a book like this will come in handy as people learn about storytellers who are living in South Africa today. It is called Our Storytelling Tree. And all of these stories, storytellers in this book, also Cindy, where am I going? They are here. Oh, Zungi Sawona, they are here. All of these storytellers, I'm so excited. Philip and Lamudebi, they are in this book. I was so happy to work with them and to have all these quotations as well. Farah Syed, they are in this book. So I'm very, very excited. Wow, that to that be really with is, is exciting, Mamkina uh, Shope. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for, for sharing your story. A well deserved Lifetime Achievement Award at the South African Film and uh, Television Awards. So congratulations to you. Of course, you can see that uh, she really is a deserving winner.